ladies and i'm so excited today i'm delivering your first training and it is all about social media tips to jumpstart your herbalife business this is a topic that most of you ladies chose and i'm very very excited to talk about so tip number one it is to write down five topics or five categories of interest that you have that you can revolve your content around one of the things i always tell my distributors is people need to know like and trust you so if you write down five categories or five um, interests that you have that you're going to revolve your content around people are going to get to know you better and they're going to be able to relate to you and if they get to know you and relate to you more then they will be more inclined to buying your products and joining your team so homework for you today is to write down, get down a piece of paper, write down your five interests, five categories that you want to revolve your content around. And some of the things like to get your, you know, your mind rolling, it doesn't have to necessarily be all about the products and the business of what you do. It could be just things that you're honestly interested in. It could be, for example, faith. If you have any type of faith and you want to talk about that, you can, you know, um, it could be if you have puppies your dog it could be you know if you're into travel it could be a bucket for traveling or it could be you know definitely nutrition and fitness of course it could be lifestyle you know whatever interests you like you're gonna basically have five different buckets that again you could rotate your content around so tip number two it is all about frequency so i always get this question you know how many times should i post and to be honest you should at least be posting once a day on your regular feed and you should always be on your stories you know at least 10 times like 10 little stories per day this will keep you definitely top of mind for your audience and something that i always like tell my distributors is to plan your content take the sunday and plan the content for the week you know plan your post what's your picture gonna be like what picture you're gonna put and your caption that should all be planned on sunday because i know a lot of you work a full-time job so you can't be on the spot writing these captions out and putting these pictures so definitely have everything all planned out and there's also a lot of scheduling apps one of the ones that i recommend it is later look into it i'm not sure how much it costs or if there's like a bracket of free and then you pay for it but that will help you schedule out your posts every single week tip number three it is to do igtvs and to go live <laughs> and i know i get a lot of resistance so if you're brand new you're probably like what wait karen i have to do what now but yes so igtvs get more views because instagram is pushing igtvs out and lives i always recommend at least once a week go live on your instagram page because this will give you more visibility instagram actually notifies every single person that is following you that you're going live so you have more eyeballs on you and you can leave it for 24 hours on repeat now i know it could be scary i know that you're probably thinking like no <laughs> because i remember that was me but if you come in with a plan with a plan of action write down your notes of what topic you want to talk about put the points down and like and hold it hold it to yourself like hold it like this and be like oh i want to talk about this and this and that and i have my notes because i don't want to forget about anything and you go and you go through it and you're live and that is key so come with a plan go on at least one live a week and do igtvs and igtvs are pre-recorded but they're still good and you could it's you could do it between one to two minutes of you giving tips or a workout you know whatever you like to talk about so my fourth and final tip it is to be consistent with your content with your stories keep showing up every single day i know at first it could be a little discouraging because maybe you're not getting that many views maybe you're not getting that many likes it is okay keep going keep showing up because people are watching they might not engage with you at first but they are watching so give them something good to look at and give them something good to come back to every single time 
time on your feed so those are my tips for today i hope you enjoyed them i hope you took notes i hope you go and implement it today and let me know if you have any questions i will be hanging out on the comments below and i will see you on the next training